Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to Football Manager. I've totally forgotten what episode it is guys, I always do this every single time. I really don't know what episode it is, but we are at Busan TC in, uh, in South Korea. Now, before I actually start with this episode proper, I actually want to talk about a website, just for, just for a few minutes. Just bear with me for a few minutes of your time and uh, we'll get on with the actual episode proper. Now, I've gone on and I've said in a few of my previous videos about a website called FM Base, um, and that's where I've downloaded a couple of my tactics from. But there is another website out there for you guys called FM Scout. I'm going to actually link it in the description below this video. But basically the FM Scout is pretty, pretty similar to FM Base in some aspects, but it has tactics downloads, it's got database downloads. It's got the lists of Wonder Kids. It's got the list of best free players when starting out Football Manager 2013, which I find highly, highly useful. And I would definitely say to you guys to go over and check this out. It's also got lists of top bargains, you know, bargain players that you can get. Maybe you haven't got much money for the team that you're doing. You maybe you you you're a low um, a lower league player, a lower league team, sorry, or a or a um, a lower Premier League team or something like that. You want a bargain. You want a bargain that's going to you know be a return on your money. That will be the list to go and have a look at. It's it's also got the tool Genie Scout for you to actually download, and it just extends really on um, transfers and shortlists and stuff like that. But pop over to fmscout.com. It's got more information on there, guys, about that Genie Scout tool. And I personally. I've never actually used that Genie Scout, but it does sound very, very interesting, and I'm sure to be checking that out in the in the upcoming weeks. That's definitely for sure. But the the best the best thing that I do like about all the FM um, about FM websites, and especially the FM Scout, is they've got this little bit called Manager Stories. Now, everybody who plays Football Manager, the Football Manager community, do like to have a little bit of bragging rights. You know, when something's going right, or you're particularly good at, 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 um, at Football Manager, and you want to say, you know, this is you know what I've been doing, this is the people that I've been buying, and just have a li little bit of a, like a, a blog, really, of your story of Football Manager. And I do like reading these guys. There was a a website called footballmanagerstories.com but that's recently changed and it's not as easy as, uh, to read as what it used to be but in here guys you've got manager stories as well in fmscout.com and um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so give that a click at the end of this video or now if you so wish um, and just go over there go and check it out I've been told that it is actually getting a rework the home page is gonna get a little bit of a rework but um, just go and check it out guys because it's a, a really really good website with so many so many useful uh, tips and, and tricks and stuff like that for you guys to, to to have a look at and of course the genie scout as well I can't really go into much detail about the genie scout because I've never actually used it but I'll have yeah, from what I've read it sounds like something that I could definitely definitely use anyway guys on with this episode we <laughs> well you can probably tell from my team's morale that we have had a good time. You can also tell from um, the goals and appearances that we've been scoring pretty freely, pretty well. Um, I'm really surprised at how well I've done. Got a fixtures. We've won every single game that we've played in the league so far. That's five games, five wins, absolutely brilliant. And it was uh, Kim High, actually, who were the only ones to actually score before us. So we, we were 1-0 down. And I thought, oh, this is going to be probably be my first loss, you know what I mean? Kim High, they're down at the bottom of the table. And, you know, all this. Oh, God. I, I tell you something, I have never... I thought I may have gone the whole five games before actually recording this without getting a goal conceded. But um, I finally got the achievement for getting a hat-trick with a player... A big Dong, Big Dong got it, um, and I'll tell you something, Kim Dong, Big Dong, E, E is ledge, E is ledge, and Little Dong as well, where is he, Little Dong, Yang Dong, and Kim Dong, uh, Big Dong, Little Dong, cardboard box, so they've been doing really well, and I, I do like big, uh, Little Dong as well, 
He's played really well. As you can see there, 8.05 is my highest rated player. But that guy is an absolute genius on that right-hand side. He has been everywhere. He's not really scored many goals, but I'm sure he's assisted on quite a few. Let's have a look at little Dong. Where, where's your assists, fella? I can't remember this. I always, I always bloody forget this stuff. I never know where to go. No, it's not that, is it? Uh, where, little Dong, where are you? Right, come on. It's somewhere. It's some, is it down here? Assists? Anything? Please? Please? Oh, there it is. Assists, look. We've got four assists in uh, in the last, what, five games, I think it is? Competition, Korean National League. So, yeah, it is in the last five games he's got four assists as well as two goals to boot on top of that. And his average rating in the last four games has been 8.43. That is insane, guys. That is absolutely insane. Well, we're going to move on to the game against Chungju Hummel, which is going to be next, and that is in eight days' time. Now... People will probably know that I got a new graphics card. I got a one gig uh, memory um, graphics card, new graphics card, and it may actually make my 3D a little bit better. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens about that. Anyway, um, it'd be interesting to see what happens with these. So I'll do this on camera. Chungju Hummel are the ones that I'm with next. So if they lose this game against uh, Goyang Kukmin Bank, uh, they're probably going to go this. Yeah, look at that. That's good stuff. That's good stuff, that. Oh, there was a guy I actually came across that I remember from my first Pentagon Challenge last year called Kim Tae, Kim Tae Jin, I think his name was. Kim Tae Jin, I came across him again and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at him, but he's, yeah, it's not as good as what he used to be. Not as good as what he used to be, that's for sure. Got a lot of Chinese people being told about here, but uh, like I said, I'm not in control of uh, the buying of players at the minute, and it, it doesn't seem to be too bad. It doesn't seem to be too bad at all. Let's have a look actually at my team and just to have a look through to see how long these people uh, these people have been at my club and whether or not they were already here, if you know what I mean. So we've got Yeo Myung Rong, Myung Ryong, Myung Ryong. I, I, I don't know how you say this. I, I don't know how you say half this stuff. Um, where's the history of this, of this guy? Is it personal details? No. You know what? I've just totally forgotten everything here. I've totally forgotten absolutely everything. I'm sure it was around here somewhere. Hmm. There it is. Found it. History. Uh, he's actually been at Busan TC for quite a while, that goalkeeper, and he's pulled off some amazing saves, I've got to say now. Choi Jihoon, what about you, fella? You've been at Busan TC a few seasons as well. Kim Tej, uh, Kim Jed Chun. Been, at, been there a few seasons. Jung Woo Seung. Been there a couple of seasons. He was out, he actually went on a free to Ulsan HMD, then came back on a free, which is quite pointless really, but he's never really played well at all, and uh, until, until now. Um, Jung Woo Seung. What about you, fella? Yeah, you've... Oh, did I just look at him? I did, didn't I? Lee Sang Woo. Couple of seasons. Arrived for 22k. Jang Siok Hwan. Been here a few seasons. So all these players, by the way, um, not the ones that have been bought, have actually been here for a while. Little Dong. What about you, fella? How long have you been here? Little Dong's been here a couple of seasons. He had a terrible season. Look, look at our whole season last season. He's done like double the amount already this is. It was a different league though. Kim Sung Yong. Been there a few seasons as well. So all these players that's been bought or been brought into the team has not been doing uh, too brilliantly. Park Yu Tae. Yeah. And Ki Big Dong. Oh. Brought in on a free, Big Dong. Look at that. <coughs> oh, God, that went down the wrong hole. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, just died. We've got Big Dong here. Um, and I'm actually going to nickname him that. Shall I nickname him that for funnies? I think so. I think it's time for a nickname, guys. Sec nickname. Kim Dong here is now Big Dong. There we are. So we've got Big Dong here. And he came on a free. So my guy, 
my director of football guy has found this guy that in five appearances has scored five goals and given three assists. That is insane for Big Dong. And uh, we've got Big Dong. Let's let's get Little Dong nicknamed as well. Little Dong. Little Dong. <laughs> oh, that's great stuff. That's great stuff. It doesn't look it really, but this guy is, you know, is a really good player. Really good player. Three stars. Makes me laugh. Um, so we've got Little Dong, Big Dong. I don't think I, I haven't really got into anybody else, if you know what I mean, to actually nickname them. But Big Dong and Little Dong, I've I've got into naming them, so that's good. Anyway, guys, I will be back for the match, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Here we go, guys. It is match day, Busan TC. We're away, for, uh, away from home against Chungju Hummel, and it's actually just struck me that uh, I haven't been changing my training around this week. Normally, I do like three days of fitness and then do the last part of the week as team cohesion, much like what that guy said to uh, to do in the comments section. It's it must be working for me because look at the results that we're getting. Uh, you know, along with uh, the tactics that have changed. Um, especially because we are a bigger force within this league than because we've literally just got relegated. Our our, our players are um, a lot better, you know, than other players in this league. So to use this dominating kind of tactic formation thing that we've got going on, um, that we've got going on here, um, this thing, very very similar actually, guys, to the one that I was using last season. Very very similar indeed, um, but. Uh, you've got two strikers instead of just the one and then three midfielders. That's what it was last time. It's been working really well. It has been work working really, really well. And um, we've got a match today. We're all at 100% fitness. Little Dong and Big Dong are playing. So that's good. Um, yeah, has to pick. I, this is the team that I like. I like this team. There's all these guys here, guys. Um, but I don't particularly... I don't use them. I honestly don't need see the need to use them. For for anything, so got midfielders there, got another striker there. We've got in fact we've got like three strikers. We've got loads of midfielders and another bench defenders, midfielders, all sorts of people there to cover all sorts of positions. So that's great. And um, yeah, I think that looking through the values as well, you can see that's obviously my first team right there. Little Dong on it, only worth 4k, and he's been absolutely amazing on that on that right hand side. Um, going through the values here, we've got. 5,000, we've got 8,000s here, defensive. Uh, Gion Wongu, look at that. He's like, he actually looks better than, um, what's his face? Little Dong, but he's not, so let's continue on. It's all down to, all down to four. Look at 8.43, his average rate. I've never seen a rate in that high in four games, five games, whatever it is. I've never seen a rate in that high. Teams are warming up, guys. This is good stuff. Now I'm going to have to change these settings here because oh, I do have it on extended and goal replays. Interesting. Interesting. Let's continue on. Second. You can see we're second at the minute only on um, like uh, points. We're one point behind but we do have that game in hand which is what we're playing. Uh, right now, as you can see, uh, where are they? Where are the team? Chungju Hummel, right slap bang in the middle of, um, well, not slap bang in the middle, but they are in the middle of the table, and we we really want, we really are looking for a win. We've got to look for a win. We have to look for a win. They're pretty crap with uh, morale. So as you can see here, it's attacking and fluid style of play that actually works well with this team because we've got a really good defence as well. So they're capable of defending. So here we are, guys, starting the match against Chungju Hummel. Away from home. Got a lot to prove. We're in blue and white. Kim Sung Yong. Lee Sung Woo. Lee Sang Woo. And then, of course, we're going to skip forward a little bit. Or a lot by the sounds of things. Nothing much happening at the minute. Looking anxious and wound up, some of my players. That's never good. And looking complacent is never good for a defender either, to be quite honest. But uh, let's have a look. Here's Big Dong. The man that is. Jang Siok Hwan. Big Dong. Big Dong again. Good ball through to Pak Yute. And it's 1 0. 
Busan PC. One nil, guys. One smegging nil. Chungju Hummel nil. Busan TC one. Big Dong. Another assist for the big man. Another assist for that big penis. Big Dong. There we go. One nil. Come on now, guys. Let's wipe the fucking floor with these guys. Whips it in the corner. Now I've got some defending to do. Whips it in. Oh, it's cleared out there. It's cleared out nicely. Who's that? Is that Little Dong? No, it's Jang Seok Hwan on the counter attack. Jang Seok. Hwan. <laughs> Big Dong. Big Dong again. Back. Oh, he's giving the ball away. That's not good from Big Dong. That is not good from Big Dong at all. Can we get it back? Look at the amount of players just crowding around that person there. Whips it upfield there. He's given to Kim Chan Hee of um, Ch Chung Ju Hummel. Jung Min Su. Steaming down this right hand side. Beating everybody there. That is a... Oh my god. That, that was a defensive mistake. He got on the wrong side of the defender there. Uh, the wrong side of the attacker. And that was a let off. That was a real, real let off. What now? What next? What is going to be next for the Busan TC boys? 38th minute. Yo Myung Myung Ryong Ryong Mung. Little Dong can't quite get his head on it. That's a good ball through to Choi Dong Ho. Kim Jan Hee. Jang Chul Ho. All the way back to the keeper. Who then probably is going to whip it upfield. He is going to whip it upfield. Can we get to it? We did manage to get our head on it. Now it's Little Dong. Little Dong to Park Yu Te. Jang Siok Hwan. Big Dong. Oh, Big Dong. Big Dong again. Whips it in. There's nobody in the middle. Where's Park Yu Te when you need him? Kim Sung Yong. Whips it in. To Bods. Big Dong on the edge of the area. Jang Siok Hwan. And it's come right the way back to Lee Sang Woo. And we're going to start this again on the left-hand side. Whips it right over to Pat Cute, who just chests it out of play. And uh, that's pretty pretty useless, that, really. Pretty useless. In the end. Not bad from Big Dong, though. For a free transfer, that guy's not been too bad. And it's half-time, guys. We are 1-0 up so far. Uh, Pat Cute is actually the most rated at this, at this moment in time. And Little Dong's not having a really good match. This is a shame to say that he's had a, a brilliant, like, first four or five matches of the uh, of the league and we're now going from left to right Jung Min Su is this going to like peter out here but Kim Chan Hee down this right side he's got loads of space Kim Chan Hee what's he going to do pulls it back and it's cleared it's cleared out of danger Lee Sang Woo clears the ball and here we are Ryong Whips it upfield. Park Yu Te manages to get his head on it. Jang Siok. It's Big Dong. Oh, and he rattles the crossbar. Big Dong. Big Dong rattles the crossbar. That could have been his sixth goal in six games, guys. And he's on for it. He's on for it and he's looking for it. But, most importantly, we do need that win. Kim Chan Hee just barging through everybody there. Kim Chan Hee also rattles the crossbar. It's unfortunate stuff. And that is a lovely, lovely tackle from Choi Ji Hoon to keep that ball out. That's my chair, not my ass. <laughs> Whips it in. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, that was a pretty nasty tackle there from behind, but I judged to have got the ball. 53. Kim, uh, whatever his name is, whips it in. It's come right out towards Big Dong on the edge of the area. Little Dong. Good ball to Jang Siok. Oh, just wide from Jang Siok Hwan. 55 minutes gone. It's actually a little bit all over the place. Uh, they're having chances, we're having chances, and it should really be one all at least. Pat Kute. All the way back to Jang Sa uh, Lee Sang Woo. Kim Sung Yong. Pak Kyute. Who's actually a striker. I don't know what he's doing in that place. Jang Siok Hwan. It's Big Dong. Jang Sok. Again. All the way out to Choi Ji Hoon. 
Jang Siok. Oh, he's given the ball away. And now they're on the counter attack. No, they're not. Kim Jan Kim Jae Chun. Back to Kang Jin Q. Jang Siok Hwan, big dong. Good ball to Pat Kute. Pat Kute bashes it at Choi Kang, whatever his fucking name is. And is just not managed to score there. That was a good chance for Busan TC to put the game beyond all doubt, surely. And they've still got the ball though at the minute. Is there going to be another chance? Big dong. Pat Kute. That is high and wide. And quite pointless. Two, Jesus Christ. I think my eyeballs popped out. 65th minute. And it's time to make in some subs. Let's have a look. Little Dong, I'm afraid, is not having the greatest of matches. Im Hyun Woo. Um, let's have a look, actually. Jeon Wong Gu is going to come on for Little Dong, I'm afraid. I'm afraid Little Dong, you're just not quite getting there for me at, the, at this match. Pax Young Min is also going to come on for... Um, Kang Jin. Now that's not because of his rating, that's because of his uh, conditions. is slightly lower than everybody else. So. I always do two substitutions round about this time and I'll leave the third one spare just in case any injuries or something happens. Jung Min Su now. Chung Ju Hummel on the attack. Whips it in. Gotta be marked. Choi Dong Ho puts that right in the back of the net. I said gotta be marked. Gotta be marked. But nobody picked that guy up and it's just blasted quite nicely in the back of the net. He was just totally free. Just have a look down here, guys. This guy here, not marked whatsoever. Kim Jae Chun should have got closer to Choi Dong Ho. Should have. And now it's one all. This could be the first draw of this season. But we've made a couple of changes, guys, and we're looking for that win. We definitely want the win, but uh, is it going to come? Is Chung Ju Hummel going to be the first game of which... We lose. Choi Dong Ho again. Choi Dong Ho. Two goals in the space of about six minutes. And that is not what we want to see. Look at this, guys. Choi Dong Ho. This, what's he doing there? It's not Kim Jae Chun this time. It's the other centre back that just did not pick up the run of Choi Dong Ho. And we're now losing 2 1. First, first loss of the season, guys, that you get to see. I've won five games in a row, but. As soon as I start recording for YouTube, that's it. And look at this, guys. Look at this guy here. Look at this guy here. Look at that guy there. Choi Dong Ho. Just left again. Hits it. Choi, uh, Choi, whatever his name is. Bis, Baek Seung Ju. <laughs> oh, here we are now. Jang Sok Hwan. Big Dong. Oh, big long ball to Kim Sung Yong. Everybody's rushing forwards now. He's not managed to keep it in. That is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Four minutes left. Don't think there's much anything more that we can do now. I think it's a case of um, running down the clock. And that's going to be it, I think, guys. Four minutes added time. That's a bit mental. But it's Jung Min Su. I think the whistle's going to blow. The whistle has gone, guys, and unfortunately it is a 2-1 loss against Chung Ju Hummel. Um, I don't really know what to say about that, ga uh, that game, guys. We, I think we bossed that game with our possession. I could be totally wrong here. Where, where are we? 52% possession there. We had seven shots. We had two more shots. We had more on target than Chung Ju Hummel as well, but uh, the two on target just weren't dealt with. And... It basically is, I blame I blame everything on the two centre-backs. They just did not manage to pick up Choi Dong-ho. And, um, yeah, not very, not very good. We, we're currently in second place now behind Ansan HFC, who I've never actually heard of before. I don't think they were in last year, so they must have just come up. So, yeah. I don't know. I win five games in a row off-camera. I come to record one and lose the game. Which is a damn, damn shame. But never mind, guys. Never, never mind. Made to rue missed chances exactly when uh, Big Dong rattled the crossbar. Could have been 2 all, guys. Could have been 2 all. Mind you, it could have easily been 3-2 as well. But anyway, until next time, guys. I have been the Softman, and as always...